and today Blakey and I are going to be doing over, like decorating, our lovely living space at university. Um, this video is very kindly sponsored by Karma as well, uh, formerly known as Shop Tagger, which is very exciting. So the first thing we did was assess the space and plan out what we wanted to do with it. Yes. That, that, that would look so good, like on the side. Once we had a plan, we started shopping. We wanted to decorate on a budget and so we were looking to save money wherever we could. That meant shopping from charity shops and looking for discounts when buying new. And Karma, previously called Shop Tagger, made this so much easier for us. Karma is a Chrome extension and app which I've been using for years and which means you never miss a discount code and a price drop on something you're planning on purchasing. One of the really cool things about the Chrome extension is that it can scan the internet for discount codes and then apply these to your order. And this is exactly what we did when placing our order with Sass and Bell, where we managed to save 20 pounds. We will show you what we got in just a few minutes. It's really easy to download and then you can save items whenever you view them on storefronts, just really easily. Then you get notified whenever that item goes on sale so for example, Karma notified us when this rug from Wayfair was on sale. Again, we will show you this rug in a second. You can organize your saved items into lists and also earn PayPal cash back from some stores. Karma was genuinely so helpful when redecorating our university house and you can download the completely free Chrome extension if you click on the link in the description box. I'm also just jumping in to say that Karma is also sponsoring a giveaway. More details at the end of the video, but if you download the Chrome extension and comment your Instagram handle down below, you will be in for a chance of winning these four wonderful books. So yes, we slowly accumulated all of the things that we would need for the house and we put them all to one side because we wanted to do all of the decorating in one day and then when the final package had arrived it was time to get started here we go here is our haul look at this look how much stuff we've got everywhere featuring a baby pineapple okay so we're going to give you our haul now of everything that we picked up but first of all we've got two rugs first one oh, i'm so excited to see this in the lab this baby though, didn't we? Uh, how oh, cute is this this is from hide and seek in exeter it was like 12 pounds and then the other rug we got is massive and we um got this from wayfair on sale and basically karma notified us when it was on sale so we got this for 38.99 which is actually really good for like a full-sized rug plant number one it's actually a real plant as well can you see these are all from hutch in it's like a little independent plant shop this one is so cool oh my gosh it's a Pineapple! Can you a see? pineapple plant! It's a pineapple plant! We've got quite a few fake flowers, so we've got these two bunches from uh, Wilco's and these from a charity shop with a pot which is £2.50. This is one of the big purchases. So basically, we were gonna, we, wa we wanted like a little coffee table perhaps, or like, or like a basket as well for storing our uh, big like rug that we keep here. And we also wanted like a stand for the plant, like so we, we wanted, wanted to get a gigantic plant. this to like be up higher. And so, killing three birds with one stone, we got this ottoman from Wilco's for £20. So we um, got loads of free prints because we're going to do a kind of uh, wall mural. And then this photo is printed to go in the kitchen area, like us with manly life and pancakes. And also, Blakeney, you should explain this one. Okay, so um, I quite like the cereal grape nuts and... Um, it's the best cereal in existence. Ever. And this look, we got the school kind of well fed on grape nuts. There's a reason, which is their slogan. They don't give the reason. Just it's just an just honest there's a slogan. reason. And then also poster, we got the one from Waterstones. Oh, oh, which is here. Yeah. So uh, this is Calvini and Co. Um, but they stopped them at Waterstones, and we actually usually they're three ninety nine. We got this for one ninety nine because it's torn. That's so nice. It's just like oh yeah, do it half price. Quite a lovely, what a lovely, lovely thing. guy with the dinosaur mask. This is beautiful. It's a map of Europe. And we also got, I mean. I got this from, I think it's Etsy. Like this is one of the big purchases we made was like a big order from Sass and Bell and we used a Karma discount on this. I love that, thank you so much. Hey. Okay, Sass and Bell, um, here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. They're so nice. So I was a bit with packaging. To replace the rather ugly ones on the sofa at the moment. 
They are very soft. They're so nice. Oh, I love them. Um, a wooden wall hanging thingy. And then, I'm so excited for this. This is what this I'm is, for. It was out of stock, and then it came back into stock. Karma actually notified me to say that it was back in stock. Oh, Whoa, it's actually yeah. a good size as well. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then, I love candlestick holders. And so I ordered these vintage ones from eBay. And they're just like vintage brass candlestick holders for the window sills, I thought. Oh, oh my gosh, look. They're huge. Wow. I was like looking at everyone for like ones that would kind of fill up the space. Oh, they feel so like oldie as well, like proper. Got Pegs. some Pegs. taper candles, candlesticks, a mini fairy door, and some little fairy lights things for pegs. Yeah, and that is Wait, everything. So, um, first things first, we're gonna get the room cleaner because uh, washing up does need to be done. Floor needs to be hoovered. living room area. So we come in through the door and this is what you see. Lovely stainless steel countertops. Got a bit of a love. black and stainless steel and Very red green arm theme. with um, some beach houses thrown in there as well. Patch of sunshine. Room, which we love. <laughs> then we've got our sofa which is nice ugly and red with some very questionable cushions. Dining space. Oh, and also blank wall up here. Blakeney is also a big fan of these. Uh, I love them. Fox costume girl. Or oh, we have my personal favourite, watermelon dude. Watermelon dude is pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Okay, I think we should keep him. We're really, really, really excited for this. So, like, we've been literally looking forward to this day so much. Like, and we chose it today, the last day at university, to do it. Yeah, which really wasn't. <sighs> but it means that when we come back in September, it will be like a transform space. It'll be really nice to just like. Back wow. into. And when I've forgotten what it looks like, so we'll be exactly. like, whoa, boring of whoa. Hi. <laughs> okay, we went in with the rugs first of all because we thought it would transform oh, the space yeah. the most. <laughs> okay. oh, that looks so good. Is it soft? You can be an exercise mat too. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Mr. Wow. Oh, Good decision. Like, we made this incredible. day. <laughs> Next it's on to the Ottoman, which is actually Blakeney's very favourite thing that we bought. Oh my this is so cool, I love it! We've been waiting around for oh, too long for something to show Same Oh, faces <laughs> and faces of We topped it with our pineapple plant yeah. And of course our mugs of tea we had lots of little bits lying around on the console table, so we put them all into this box just to tidy things away and make it look neater. And of course, you always need to have books in any room, so we added a little stack of books. If you can take it off, maybe take it off, but it might. Yeah, no, I think not take it off. off. Then we just recycled jars that we had lying around, so we used this olive jar. <laughs> uh, these are very real flowers, as you can tell from the uh, little labels. Oh. Yay! Ah. These turned out so, so pretty and they add just so much colour and life to the space, even though they are fake, fake flowers. We also added the candlestick holders framing one of the windowsills. And the living space ended up looking so gorgeous. And the final finishing touch was of course the wall art, which is this beautiful Europe poster. The rip was really tiny and very easy to patch up. Oh, 
Dun dun dun. Ominous music. <laughs> Grungy sound effect. Next we're on to the kitchen area. We just tidied Yay. away all of the sauces and bigger bottles and put them under the countertops. Okay, this is a big moment. Ruby has been complaining about this red thingy. This oh yeah. This is the <laughs> ugliest thing ever, a pink Utensils, Gerald. We'll be watching a film or something and then you'll be like, I think we really need to do something about that red thing. That thing is ugly. Okay, are we ready? Drum roll, please. Da -da 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 -da. Whoa. How and happy do you feel right now? I am complete. I could die <laughs> happy right now because doesn't that just look a thousand million times better? So we also wanted to change up the cabinets a little bit because that is one of our least favorite things, just how black and dark it is. We had this old calendar um, with female suffrage prints and so we cut some of these out and put these on the cupboards and it still looks pretty dark. So, so we decided to do something slightly different and put up some New Yorker cutouts behind the prints and this just made it look whiter and lighter and put a nice you know literary spin as well on the cupboards it's quite scrapbooky and definitely not like anything i've seen anywhere else but i actually really like how it turned out we also put up some photos in the fridge just to make it look more aesthetic but we did leave watermelon man up do not worry Okay, we are now going to do some crafting uh, with some relaxed Nora Jones music in the background. I had some old academic planners. I had just a few dead stock planners from last year which couldn't be used anymore and we used these to cut out the stars. You know, recycling, very important. And we just hung these down the length of the staircase and it ended up looking so, so pretty. So then we're on to the next day and we made our little wall mural along the staircase which I mentioned beforehand. We basically hung up some string and then added loads of our favourite photos and pictures from our favourite films and things to add a lot of personality to the space and this is actually one of my very favourite things that we ended up doing. Doesn't that look amazing? We also wrapped fairy lights around the length of the banister because fairy lights do make anything better. We did very good. This is amazing. And like, look at the background. Ah, like the <laughs> Feeling very happy with ourselves. Every time we like put something new on the sofa or we like look at it from a new angle, we're like, we're like oh my gosh, have you seen it from a new yeah. angle? Next, we went on to some crafting. As you saw, we bought a fairy door, which is very random. Blakeney is very good at art, and so she drew this beautiful little toadstool at the top and also painted the door frame this orangey brown color. And I made a little letter for the little fairy who we decided was going to be living behind that fairy door. Again, this just adds a little bit of personality to the house, uh, something unique which you don't find everywhere. Oh. oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> and here we are, here is the final reveal. house and I'm going to show you exactly how lovely 
If we come down the staircase, you will see we've got fairy lights along the banister. My. And the most incredible, what would you even call this? Um, strong, long string. A piece of long string, <laughs> like scrapbooky thing. Wow, with, who is this girl? We've got Molly over here, look. We've got Timothy Chalamet. We have Elsa and Anna. We have dining table, which is quite plain. So um, we've got this Etsy print that Blakeney bought. Um, and then we come onto this window, so always some lovely flowers. Literally, we love these sunflowers so much. Like, I can't believe it was £2.50 for these, like. They're so much nicer than the ones you like got from new from Wilco. So then we've got our pineapple plant and the absolute favourite, which is the ottoman, which stores the blanket. And this is honestly so, so cool. I feel like Cecil is a good name. We have a plant Cecil. outside Clarence and I feel like the alliterative effect. Cecil Clarence. And then this one needs a name beginning with C2. Calcifer? Calcifer. That's very dramatic. Yeah? Calcifer, the least <laughs> dramatic plant with the most dramatic name. So this is the TV console as you can see and we've just like decked it out with, this will usually be for library books but at the moment it's um, got Blakeney's books. And then one of our favourite things that we added was the stars which we cut out of um, some old academic planners. Can you tell we cut them out ourselves? And they just go all the way up. And then we have the absolute best part of the room, which is, of course, dun, 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 dun. <gasps> the sofa <laughs> and the living space. We spent so much time on the sofa and literally it was the most ugly part of the house. <laughs> the blanket, the beautiful cushions from Sass and Belle, and then the rug, of course, which is like, Highly fluffy. Very wonderful. much approve of how <laughs> gloriously <laughs> soft this carpet is. So then we have got these beautiful antique candlestick holders, which we love. There you go. So then down here, we have our little fairy door. Um, and then up above here, it says Half a World Away, which um, Blakeney wrote and looks very lovely. We do love Half a World Away. All of the John Lewis songs there are wonderful. Yeah. So then kitchen. This bit we um, are slightly unsure about it may be vetoed later but it's basically pictures of the new yorker and we just thought like it would make it less dark and we've also added some like female suffrage posters and then we've just got the nice jars on the side and oh my gosh the absolute <laughs> you're really happy with that yellow pot <laughs> favorite is the yellow pot and then the fridge which is also looking nice but yeah, that's our completed decoration project. Honestly, it came out so well. Like we, every single time we come, we come into this room, we're like, what? It looks incredible. All the colors and everything. Like it looks, it looks a lot more lived in. We were saying because it looked very sort of um, empty and it looks more like us as well. Exactly. Like there's actually kind of unique little touch, like the, the fairy door. We were saying like <laughs> literally that is the most like random thing that like no university student probably has in their house. But if you're a university student, you have a fairy door. <laughs> We'd love to hear from please, you. Please let us is know. Is there a community out there? We want to join the community if there is one. And join the community now. Go find a fairy door and like make one for your university house too. Two pounds from Wilco. Two pounds, that's really not bad. Thank you so much for watching today's video and thank you so much to Karma for sponsoring today's video. There will be a link in the description box to download Karma, which is a free Chrome extension and honestly can save you so much money in the long run. Also, as I said, Karma is hosting a giveaway, which is really exciting. The famous quote from Marcus Tullius Cicero is, a room without books is like a body without a soul. And that is very true, every single room needs a book. And so to add to your own space at home, uh, we're going to be giving away four beautiful books which you can put on display in your room, but also read and enjoy. These are four of my favorite books, but also probably my four prettiest books. The first book is The Wonderful, The Boy, The Mole, The Fox and The Horse which is a wonderful story of compassion and kindness. And the illustrations in this are just beautiful. Um, I've perused my copy many, many times. The second is this illustrated anthology chosen by Chris Riddell, who's one of my favorite illustrators, Poems to Live Your Life By. There is a wonderful selection of poems in this. And again, the illustrations are gorgeous. Next is the illustrated The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. This is one of my favorite books of all time. And this edition is just stunning. And then finally, this book, people always comment on, on my videos, it's this beautiful copy of Jane Eyre. It's bound so beautifully and it's got this bronze detailing and truly this is one of my favourite books I own. So 
I'm so excited to be giving it away. For the chance to win these books, all you've got to do is download Karma and then leave a comment with your Instagram username down below. And then I will choose three winners who will be able to win all four of these books. Yeah, I'm really excited for that. Thank you so much, Karma, for sponsoring that giveaway. And I hope that you have a productive week. Thank you.